So it's about five o'clock in the morning. We decided to get up. We're gonna go head towards the Dalles and we're gonna go shad fishing. Uh, as always, Ike. Yeah. It'll be his first time shad fishing. Uh, my dad's out there getting ready. Uh, I've brought a couple different poles today to try out. It's been probably, I wanna say, eight to 10 years since I've been out shad fishing. So, I don't know, lots of rules and regulations have changed and it's, I guess it's different. We'll find out when we get there. This will be Ike's first time shad fishing. Last time I took him surf perch fishing, that was his first time surf perch fishing. I guess I'm just gonna take him to do all these fishing trips. Oh yeah. I mean. You gotta catch the fish. Gotta catch the fish, exactly. So we're waiting for my dad to get ready. I brought three rods, two different kinds of sets up. We went last time, got a bunch of freaking tackle. We'll find out what works and what doesn't. But yeah, this should be a fun trip. I haven't been up that way in a while, and stay tuned. <laughs> Experience of this, and what do you think of it? What's your uh, uh, it's interesting to say the least? Interesting, but so it's interesting, it's fun once you get on it. So, this is what this is what where we're fishing at right now. We're here at the Cascade Locks in the gorge. Pretty much all we're really doing is he's just dunking it down. Drift with the current, and he does it all over again. This is all we're doing. That's it. So that's pretty much what we're doing. I got my dad way over there. It's the distance. He's over there fishing. I don't think he wanted to be biased because we we're, I don't know, we're catching more fish than he is. So, all in all, uh, we've been here for not that long and not a bad keep. But yeah, it's it's a great day out here. I haven't really been, oh god this lighting sucks. So I haven't really been shad fishing here, say for five more, five or plus more years. It's nice to get out here, it's a Monday, I mean, nobody's really down here, only a few people. I mean, what do you think, I, is this... Is this something you'd want to do again? Oh yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, he's with it. This is his first time ever shad fishing, so. I mean, if he wants to go again, that's that's pretty cool. All right, you know. 
My dad it looks like my dad's walking back over. I wonder how many he caught. Uh, tell you what, it's a it's it's one hell of a workout. But I mean, we're 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 pretty well set up here. I lost actually. I caught two salmon, huge, huge guys. But here, since it's like semi-native only, like. I don't know. They get mad whenever you hook salmon or whatever. But uh, no, they broke me off. I was I was only using 15 pound line and they broke it off. But pretty decent size. I mean, and that was on accident. I caught two on accident. Uh, looks like oh here come here comes my dad. So let's looks like he got a couple. Let's see what he got. Sorry, this lighting probably sucks so bad. Oh, he's returning. He doesn't. Oh, looks like he did all right. Let's see. How'd you do over there, Dad? Five or six, maybe. Nice. Okay. So all in all, we're not doing too bad. We're out here. We're just having fun. Ike's having fun. Tell you what, this beats the gym. Arm is sore, but uh, I'm gonna pick up my rod. We're just gonna keep on going. another set of freaking lures and stuff and whatnot so we're getting ready to leave so he's gonna actually take over the camera and yeah we'll see what he has to say while well, I uh, get back to fishing so we've been out here since about early this morning shad fishing it's rather rather entertaining <laughs> it's kind of fun kind of mess a fish rather easy Little to no fight with this current. You can actually see him swimming upstream. Hopefully, we can get some live action on this. See if one of these guys actually catches a fish. Dad's been killing it though. Hello. I'm not catching any. He got all the fish. All the fish. Pat's caught one or two. And that's it. Well, dozen maybe, but who's to say? You, you gotta look into the camera, not the screen. 
I'm looking into the camera. The camera right there. I'm on the TV. I'll hold it out more. Yeah, there we go. Oh, now I can see very much better. Man. It's tiring. You lose arm strength in one arm. But, got a whole bunch of fish. <laughs> and I mean a whole bunch of fish. <laughs> People came out here just recently, started dunking too, but I haven't really seen anybody catch very much but us, which I'm fine with. No. Let's see if he can pull it off. Yeah. Just one more. <laughs> All right, guys. My arm is beat. We've literally been doing this back and forth, back and forth, whatnot, for literally what? We got here, what? 6.30? Yeah. Like 6.30. My arm did not skip arm day. Got that in. That workout checked off the checklist. But, uh... We definitely did pretty good today. Uh, it was pretty much just nice to get out of town. We, it was, this was like a last minute thing. I was talking to my dad yesterday. And he asked me, he's like, are Shad running? I was like, I don't know. So I freaking checked it out. Yeah, they're running. But yeah, so I went out, bought some stuff, and we're out here fishing. Usually I'd have my son with me, but it, since it's a Monday, he has school. Oh, and there it is. The last fish for our trip. Last fish. We're going to wrap this up, clean up, and... And we're going to head back into town. Like, this, it is gorgeous out here right now. Like... The view of the bridge back in the background. We are definitely, definitely summertime. Definitely. Oh, well, I guess he's not done. He's going back in. So we're just going to kick it, hang out. I mean, I, what is this whole experience to you? Oh, yeah. Definitely coming back for this. And, yeah, I mean, yesterday I checked the fish count. There was 21,000 shad that went over to the dam. So that's why we figured we'd come out because the numbers are high. But, I mean... Nice day, brought out a bunch of people on the fishing, on the bay, way down there. I mean, you kind of got to space out from everybody, but I mean, it's not bad. Everybody kind of gets into a rhythm and then nobody has their lines tangled. It's everybody's up and over, up, let it drift, up, let it drift. Everybody's in that same rhythm. I mean, and if you've never fished Cascade Locks for Shad, all it is is a single hook with yarn. I zip tied yarn on it. That's what we caught. That's what we've been using all day. Yeah, I mean, what I was using, I was actually using, I didn't have any other rods, so I used my salmon rod, my salmon steelhead rod, which is a, a nine foot Okuma. I was running 50 pound braid. And, and it, it seemed to work out fine. This worked out good. I mean, we literally stuffed. Lots of fun. I just can't wait to take my son out here and try it, but it's kind of iffy with that drop off. That is really, really fast moving current. Uh, this morning, caught two accidental salmon. I mean, it's a big old bag of fish. Let's be clear. Uh, I'm gonna try to post more of these videos up for you guys. I mean, if, if you guys like it, give me a thumbs up. You guys want more videos, thumbs up. 
comment down, subscribe. I'll get more stuff out to you. Uh, I don't only do just fishing. I mean, I do random stuff. It's anything I can get my hands on and get out of the house. But yeah, hit that like button, subscribe. Great old Pacific Northwest adventures, man. Yeah, so we're gonna get cleaned up and everything, and we'll get back to you. All right, I just have to get back on camera and one thing because my dad's out here. Wherever you fish at, doesn't matter where it is, leave it cleaner than when you got there. Pick up stuff, like, doesn't matter what it is, not your trash, pick it up. Everybody fishes here, just do your own part. Where did it go? It, it doesn't matter. Like, just, it, it's, it keeps everything funner, fishing and everything. I mean, would you want to go to a place to fish if it was all trashed? Probably not. So, I mean, do your part, clean up, pick up after yourself, leave everything cleaner than when you got here. It's only the right thing to do. Keep everything. I mean, it sucks. I, I do a lot of cleanup also. My dad's out there picking up trash. It, it, it's just courteous. You don't want to be rude. You don't want to sit there and just destroy places where we fish. I mean, everybody comes out here and enjoys it, so remember, always please pick up, leave the place cleaner than when you got there. It keeps everything going right. It keeps fishing ways like this open. It just, it helps everything out. So remember guys, do your part as much as you can. All right, we just cleaned up our area. Everything's good. And yeah, we're, we're getting the heck out of here. It's hot, really hot, guys. It's a nice day. Ugh. Well, Cascade Locks, it's been fun. Right. Lots of fun. Lots of fun. Back to Portland. Dad, Ike. Whew. We're out of here. It's been fun. And for a last minute trip, planning everything, that went really well. And no matter what my mom says, it's not the moon, it's, it's the weather. The moon. <laughs> my mom says it has this thing where you catch more fish when it's the moon. I tell her it's the weather, but me and her will always have that already. I'm gonna make her a sticker for her car that says it's the moon. <laughs> but every time me, my dad, and, uh, and Ike back here go fishing, we come home with a bunch, and then my mom and dad will go because we caught a lot, and then there will be nothing. <laughs> That's kind of how it goes. So, I mean, in, in a sense, Ike, I think, is the good luck charm. Yeah, he is. <laughs> Ike's the good luck charm back there. This is his first time shad fishing, too. I've been, uh, I took him bass fishing, first bass, got that for him. Uh, surf perch, yep. that was another video. First yep. time, too, and now shad fishing. I mean, what are, what are we going to put you on a sturgeon next, salmon? What are we doing? What are we doing next for you? I don't know. It's up to Dad. <laughs> <laughs> what, kind, what are we going to do next? You haven't done any of this stuff, and yeah, this is your first deep, time. Deep sea fishing. Oh, okay. Deep sea fishing. You're like, you wait. I took you crabbing. Have you been crabbing before without me? No. No I'm crabbing. Not. So, oh, we're going to check that off the list too. Uh, yeah. I'm that, just, that video's coming in September. Yeah, my birthday. It's coming up September. I always do a, a, a crabbing birthday trip. That video will be ahead, but, oh man. We'll be using shad for bait. <laughs> Some of this, yeah, what we caught, I'll be using for bait. That's the, one of the reasons we came out here. But now, I mean, this is an amazing place out here. It's really quiet, little town. We're at Cascade Locks up past Bonneville Dam. If you don't know where that is, I'll leave a link in the description of where you can find it. And no matter what, this place has always been here. This little burger and ice cream place, it is so good. I didn't like to go So that. good. <laughs> Long time ago. So if you're ever in Cascade Locks, go check that place out. Really good stuff. My dad's an electrician. He actually did some wiring on that place before. Yeah. I got free ice cream and burgers. Free ice cream. Look, <laughs> yeah, see, I can't complain with that. Yeah. But yeah. So, yep, we are out of here, guys. Bridge of the Gods.
back to Portland. stuff uh, I'll get to editing this video and everything uh, I'll leave everything in the description box below remember click like subscribe you guys are awesome and until next time's adventure keep fishing